in the previous section we studied about plotting the points in this section we are st we are going to learn about plotting the graphs of certain linear equations so this is going to be interesting so the first point to remember and before that just keep your notebooks and pens with you and start taking notes okay because these informations which i'm going to share with you are very important first of all we are going to start with the graphs of certain very simple linear equations the first linear equation is x is equal to 0 now you must be thinking x is equal to 0 how does it uh, represent a linear equation see a linear equation is something which has got an equal to sign which has got a variable whose degree is uh, 1 and which has got a real number on the other side of equation or with any operation uh, with the variable so we have got x whose power is 1 we have got is equal to we have got 0 which is a real number so this is a linear equation in real number okay so in one variable i'm sorry linear equation in one variable y is equal to 0 x is equal to a y is equal to a these are all linear equations in one variable and whose graphs are some peculiar lines let's talk about x is equal to 0 x is equal to 0 is the equation of y axis please note it down please note it down x is equal to 0 is the equation of y axis the whole y axis is represented by the equation x is equal to 0 because for any point lying on y axis the x coordinate is 0 that's why the equation of y axis itself is x is equal to 0 where else x is equal to a is an equation of a line parallel to y axis and a distance of at at and at a distance of a units from it from the y axis so suppose we have x is equal to 6 this is x is equal to 6 what is this line this line is a vertical line parallel to y axis its equation x is equal to 6 is almost identical to the equation x is equal to 0 which is the equation of y axis but why there is 6 in place of 0 there is 6 in place of 0 because this line x is equal to 6 is at a distance of is at a distance of 6 units is at a distance of 6 units from y axis right similarly we have over here if you see x plus 5 is equal to 0 now what is x plus 5 is equal to 0 x is equal to minus 5 so the equation of this line a b is x is equal to minus 5 why is it so it is so because this line a b is at a distance of minus 5 units from y axis so its equation is exactly identical identical to the equation of y axis which is x is equal to 0 but in the place of 0 you have minus 5 so all the lines which have the equation of the form x is equal to a are all vertical lines parallel to y axis are all vertical lines parallel to y axis okay and uh, what about y axis itself its equation is x is equal to 0 okay so remember this uh, i'm going to plot few equation uh, few questions a few uh, of these kind of equations on the graph for you i'm going to show you when we do the solved example let's first move on to the next type next is see we were studying about x is equal to 0 which is the equation of y axis and any line which has the equation of the form x is equal to a is always parallel to y axis now we are going to talk about now we are going to talk, talk about y is equal to 0 what is y is equal to 0 y is equal to 0 is the equation of x axis 
so equation of x axis you must be confused a bit the equation of y axis was x is equal to 0 the equation of x axis is y is equal to 0 why because all the points lying on x axis has their y coordinate as 0 that's why equation of x axis is y is equal to 0 and any line which is parallel to x axis at a distance a units from it has the equation of the form y is equal to a for example line cd its equation is y is equal to 3 why because first of all its equation is identical to the form y is equal to 0 and in the place of 0 you see 3 that means this line cd is 3 units away from the x axis or from the origin parallel to x axis that's why y is equal to 3 similarly ef is y is equal to minus 4 it is 4 units away from x axis but below x axis that's why minus 4 okay so these are few basic graphs which we have started studying okay so these are you can say uh, graphical representation of linear equation or graphs of a linear equation is always graphs of a linear equation are always in the form of a straight line graphs of a linear equation are always in the form of a straight line okay so we have seen two uh, let me just go back to my graph page and here i uh, i showed you y axis what is the equation of y axis x is equal to 0 what is the equation of x axis y is equal to 0 remember like this okay always remember like this great let's go to our next topic Okay, so we have to draw graphs of each of the following equation. Let's draw a few graphs. First is y is equal to 3. Okay, so for drawing y is equal to 3, let me show you my graphic calculator. Yeah, so this is my graphing calculator. Uh, you can also go on the URL which is visible over here, desmos, desmos.com slash calculator. And you can plot any graph you want. It's a very good playground for, uh, you know, playing with graphs. Okay, so this uh, red line you see, it is uh, basically the equation of y is equal to 3. I'm sorry, it is the graph of y is equal to 3. Now, if I want to draw this graph, how will I draw? First, I will look at the equation. Equation says y is equal to 3, which is of identical to the form y is equal to 0, which is nothing but equation of uh, x-axis. Now, in the place of 0, there is 3. That means this line must be parallel to x-axis and at a distance of 3 units from x-axis above the origin. Okay, so we draw a line. This is how the line looks like. Now, uh, if I want to plot this line, how do I do it? On this line, there is one very uh, peculiar thing which, are, which is happening. On this line, all the uh, y coordinates are 3 and all the x coordinate can take any value. Okay, so x coordinate, let's say it is uh, 0, but y will be how much? 3 okay let's say x coordinate is 4 but y will be how much 3 let's say x coordinate is uh, let's say x coordinate is minus 2 
but y coordinate will be 3. So if you take any uh, any value of x coordinate, but if the y coordinate remains the same, that means the line will be a straight line parallel to x axis. Okay. Next, one more line I want to show. I will just remove this line and remove the points over here. One more line I want to show you is y plus 5 is equal to y plus 5 is equal to 0. Now, y plus 5 is equal to 0. If you solve this, let me just solve it and show you. Okay, so we have y plus 5 is equal to 0. If you solve y plus 5 is equal to 0, you get y is equal to minus 5. Now, y is equal to minus 5 is identical to y is equal to 0, which is the equation of x axis. But y is equal to minus 5 is a straight line parallel to x axis, which is at a distance of 5 units, but below the origin. And that is this blue line, which you can see. Can you see here? I'm not able to show the x-axis. That's why I'm putting it, keeping it little down. Now for this line, whatever values of x you have, but the value of y will remain same, minus 5. So we have minus 1, comma, minus 5, lying on this, sorry for that, minus 1, comma, minus 5, lying on this line, 0, comma, minus 5, lying on this line 0 comma minus 5 and we have 3.5 let's say if we have here 3.5 and minus 5 all these points whichever i have said here they will lie on our given line so the y coordinate remains the same. X coordinate keeps on changing. That means it's a straight line parallel to x axis at a distance of 5 units from the x axis. If it is minus 5, then it is below x axis. It, if it is plus 5, then it is above x axis. Okay, so I'll just zoom out to show you both the lines. Yeah, see, that's the red one and the blue one. These are our two lines. There can be more lines as well. We can plot more lines as well. Let us plot uh, two more lines. Uh, x is equal to 4 and x plus 6 is equal to 0. So let me plot x is equal to 4. And uh, x plus 6 is equal to 0. Okay, so we have two more lines, but now these lines x is equal to 4 and x plus 6 is equal to 0 are vertical lines. Let me just uh, for a moment turn off these uh, horizontal lines and their coordinates. Do you see these vertical lines? These vertical lines, they represent two lines which are parallel to y-axis. And any line which is parallel to y-axis has its equation of the form x is equal to a. So can you guess the equation of the red line? Yes, x is equal to 4. Why? Because it is passing through 4 on x-axis. What is the equation of this blue line? x is equal to minus 6 or x plus 6 is equal to 0. Any which ways. Both are same. Why? Because it is passing from minus 6 on x axis. So this is how you plot these lines. I showed you. Here it is visible in this solved example. And no need to you know go deeper into it. But I still showed you that how the points lying on it uh, show a pattern and how these lines are plotted and everything okay why i'm going in detail because our next topic is graphing a linear equation 
okay graphing a linear equation that is drawing a graph of a linear equation which is which will be a straight line i told you graph of a linear equation in two variable is always a straight line so how to draw this graph for drawing a graph see first understand if the graph of an equation is a straight line the equation is called linear equation to draw the graph of a linear equation you have to plot a few points which satisfy the given equation so let me tell you we are going to plot three points each equation for every equation we are going to plot three points three points means three uh, coordinates that is ordered pair x comma y three each for each equation three then these points after these points are plotted for one equation suppose you plotted three points you have to draw a straight line passing through these points that's it okay the first one y is equal to minus 2x now let me first show you the calculation separately and then let us plot the linear equation on the graphic uh, graphic calculator so that you understand how to plot because you have to do it in the graph after all and uh, you should have no doubts about it okay so our equation was y is equal to minus 2x the first step you write the equation y is equal to minus 2x the second step you draw a table which is known as a truth table students must be familiar with this from last year or from this year i don't know so this is our truth table in our truth table you first write x and then write y and then you make three columns in the three columns in the first row that is the values of x you choose any three suitable values of x any three i if you ask me always i happen to choose 0 1 and minus 1 as the values of x now it is the calculation part so when x is equal to 0 y is equal to minus 2 multiplied by 0 which is 0 so y is 0 then you have to show this thing okay while while solving you have to show all this calculation truth table filling the truth table and then comes plotting the graph all these things will have three or four marks so when x is equal to 1 y is equal to minus 2 multiplied by 1 so y is equal to minus 2 and lastly when x is equal to minus 1 y is equal to minus 2 into minus 1 which is 2 so here you have 2 so your truth table is completely filled now remember the coordinates because we are going to plot this particular uh, points on the graph on the on, on the cartesian plane and draw a graph through it 0 0 1 minus 2 minus 1 2 okay so let's first uh, get rid of uh, these things okay so now my graph paper is empty this is my empty cartesian plane okay now i'm going to add a table over here and in which i'm going to write 0 comma 0 then we had 1 comma minus 2 and minus 1 comma 2 1 comma sorry 1 and minus 2 and minus 2 and 1 is it correct let's check i don't think these three points are passing through a straight line let us check our calculation when x is minus 1 
माइनस टू कॉमा माइनस टू मल्टीप्लाइड बाय माइनस वन इज प्लस टू सो माइनस वन कॉमा टू एंड व्हेन एक्स इज वन वाई इज माइनस टू सो वी हैव जीरो जीरो वन माइनस टू एंड माइनस वन टू लेट्स प्लॉट अगेन जीरो जीरो वन माइनस टू माइनस वन एंड टू माइनस वन एंड टू यस आई प्लॉट आई आई रोड द रॉन्ग numbers okay so you see these three points plotted 0 0 1 minus 2 and minus 1 comma 2 do you see these three points plotted okay now what you have to do is you have to write the equation what is the equation you have to draw a line passing through these points so basically the equation is y is equal to minus 2x do you see the green line does the green line pass through the three points which you have plotted yes so this is your required linear equation or graph of the linear equation this is what you have to do right so after plotting these points we go on the graph we plot the points and we draw a line passing through them that's it so that is the graph of y is equal to minus 2x so what are the important things you have to draw the truth table select the three values of x any three values i select 0 1 and minus 1 i always feel comfortable with these three values and then uh, for with calculation uh, calculate the respective values of y then get the ordered pair and plot the coordinates on uh, cartesian plane and after after that you just pass a join a uh, or draw a line passing through all the points and your graph is ready okay shall we do one more y is equal to 3x minus 4 y is equal to 3x minus 4 let's get the table ready so y is equal to 3x minus 4 okay the table is x y the values of x we are going to take as 0 1 minus 1 so when x is equal to 0 y is equal to 3 multiplied by 0 minus 4 and y is equal to minus 4 when x is equal to 1 y is equal to 3 bracket 1 minus 4 y is equal to 3 minus 4 so y is equal to minus 1 and when x is equal to minus 1 y is equal to 3 bracket minus 1 see wherever there is x i'm just putting the values i'm substituting the values and getting the value of y so i'm sure this is very clear to you so y is equal to minus 3 minus 4 so y is equal to minus 7 okay so our required uh, values of x and y are here we have filled the table now just plot the points and get the graph okay so let's go to our graph let's get rid of this and this and i'll add a new table in which the values of x and y are 0 minus 4 1 minus 1 minus 1 minus 7 0 comma Minus four, one, comma, minus one, and minus one, comma, minus seven. Let me just check once. Zero minus four, one minus one, minus one minus seven. Okay, seems okay. Now we have to locate the points. Are they in, are they in the straight line? what is our equation that i am going to write later y is equal to 3x minus 4 okay 
where are my points okay here are my three points do you see three purple points correct so y is equal to <clears throat> y is equal to 3x minus 4 correct so y is equal to 3x minus 4 the line passes through exactly these required coordinates so you don't do all this while you solve it okay this is just for the uh, purpose of demonstration when you solve it what you do is you first draw the truth table do the calculation fill the truth table and then plot these points which you have got on the graph paper and then join all the points with a line that's it that is the line okay the next one and the next one we have two more let's do them y is equal to minus 2x plus 3 by 2 little challenging y is equal to minus 2x plus 3 by 2 Okay, so when we have got y is equal to minus 2x plus 3 by 2, first thing is we are going to draw truth table. x, y, okay, 0, 1, minus 1, 3 points, 3 values of x. When x is equal to 0, when x is equal to 0, y is equal to minus 2 bracket 0 plus 3 by 2. Minus 2 into 0 is 0. So y is equal to 3 by 2. When x is equal to 1, y is equal to minus 2 bracket 1 plus 3 by 2. So y is equal to minus 2 plus 3 by 2. So y is equal to minus 4 plus 3 the whole upon 2. So y is equal to, I took the LCM and it became minus 1 by 2. Minus 1 by 2. And the last is when x is equal to minus 1 y is equal to minus 2 bracket minus 1 plus 3 by 2 so y is equal to 2 plus 3 by 2 so y is equal to uh, 2 to the 4 4 plus 3 7 by 2 okay so our points are here we have our points let's plot them so that we understand in a better way let me just get rid of these two new table okay the first point is 0 comma 3 by 2 now 3 by 2 is 1.5 so you better write it in decimals 0 comma 1.5 1 comma minus 0 0.5 0 comma 1.5 minus 1 comma minus 0 0.5 and we have one more point to go that is minus 1 comma 7 by 2 minus 1 and is it plus 7 by 2 or minus 7 by 2? Just 7 by 2, right? Minus 1 comma 7 by 2. So that is 3.5. Okay, so if you want to see our three points, hey, they are not in the same line. So we have to check what is wrong with our equation. 0 comma 3 by 2, okay minus 1 comma 0 0.5 and minus 1 comma 3.5 hey 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 
0 1 minus 1 so this is plus 1 I'm sorry yes there you go see all the three points are in a straight line and what is our equation our equation is y is equal to minus 2x plus 3 by 2 y is equal to minus 2x plus 3 by 2 that is 1.5 here you go this red line represents our equation and all the three green dots which represents our points are lying on the red line that means it is correct right so this demonstration on this uh, graphing calculator must be really useful for all of you to visualize that how to plot the graphs see exactly the same graph okay the next one is extremely important because there are these kind of questions in the exercise and there are multiple questions like these uh, three fourth i can see just right away okay so please pay attention the question says draw the graph of the equation 3x plus 2y minus 5 is equal to 0 and use this graph to find x1 the value of x when y is equal to 7 and y1 the value of y when x is equal to 3 so let's let's do it i think i'm just going to use my graph paper and do the whole thing for you but before i do anything i have to plot i have to find the coordinates so i have to draw a truth table 3x plus 2y minus 5 is equal to 0 3x plus 2y minus 5 is equal to 0 so let's draw a truth table first when x is equal to 0 3 bracket 0 plus 2y minus 5 is equal to 0 so 2y is equal to 5 y is equal to 5 by 2 and y is equal to 2.5 second when x is equal to 1 3 bracket 1 plus 2y minus 5 is equal to 0. In the place of x, I am putting 1. Solving it, 3 plus 2y minus 5 is equal to 0. So 2y is equal to 3 minus 5 is minus 2. Goes that side becomes plus 2y is equal to 1. And last, when x is equal to minus 1 in the place of x, I am just going to put minus 1 and solve for y. So here I get minus 3 plus 2y minus 5 is equal to 0. So 2y is equal to 8 because minus 3 minus 5 becomes minus 8. Goes that side becomes plus 8. And y is equal to 8 by 2 which is 4. So these are my points. Now what I am going to do is I am going to get a graph paper here and plot them and then draw a line through them and then solve the question ahead. Let's do that. Okay, so this is our Cartesian plane which I've just drawn on a graph paper for you to understand that how uh, I can solve this question. Okay. <clears throat> now, our coordinates which are to be plotted on this graph paper are 0 comma 2.5 so 0 comma 2.5 will lie on y-axis because its x coordinate is 0 so 0 comma 2.5 let me draw uh, let me mark the points with red ink 
although in uh, exam you will strictly use pencil nothing else but this this is just for the demonstration purpose 0 comma 2.5 is somewhere over here between 2 and 3 there is a semi dark line where this 0 comma 2.5 will lie next is 1 comma 1 1 comma 1 will lie over here and uh, the next is minus 1 comma 4 minus 1 comma 4 will lie over here okay so we have plotted successfully plotted our three points now from these three points i'm just going to draw a line Okay. This is my line which is passing through all the three points. Correct? It might not be looking like passing through all of them, but yeah, I can definitely make sure that it is passing. Okay. So this is our graph which we want. Always after you know drawing the graph you write the equation near the end of the graph 3x plus 2y minus 5 is equal to 0 3x plus 2y minus 5 is equal to 0 so this is our graph now what we have to do see <clears throat> what they have asked us in the question use this graph to find x1 the value of x when y is 7 so they are asking if y is 7 what is the corresponding value of x so see y is over here 7 now what you do is from y is equal to 7 you draw a line horizontal line in such a way that it will go ahead and touch the graph see we will not extend it to the right side of y axis because there is no graph over there the graph is on the left side that's why i have extended over here and i have also put an arrow okay now this line is meeting the graph at this point from this point i'm just going to drop down one more perpendicular line touching the x-axis at this point and you draw a, draw a downward arrow over here so what you write your answer is when x sorry when y is equal to 7 x is equal to minus 3 see it is touching x axis at minus 3 that is the value that is the answer when y is equal to 7 x is equal to minus 3 next one use this graph to find the value y1 the value of y when x is 3 so they are asking when x is 3 what is y so first of all what where is x is equal to 3 here i can see x is equal to 3 over here because here x is equal to minus 3 is there so th this is x is equal to 3 now i have to draw a line should i draw a vertical line or yeah vertical line of course but above origin above x-axis or below x-axis of course below x-axis so that it me meets our graph and from here it will go towards y-axis so this is going to be the arrow and at y-axis axis it's going to meet over here okay so we can say that when x is equal to 3 when x is equal to 3 y is equal to minus 2 when x is equal to 3 y is equal to minus 2 these are our two final answers okay same you see here also okay great so this is the end of part b and here we understood how to draw graphs 
of linear equations and which are always in the form of straight lines and also we saw how to draw graphs of the equation of type x is equal to a and y is equal to a all the equations of the type x is equal to a are similar to x is equal to 0 which is nothing but y axis so all the equations of the form x is equal to a are parallel to y axis similarly all the equations of the form y is equal to a are following the pattern y is equal to 0 which is nothing but x axis so all the equations of the form y is equal to a are parallel to x axis that was i think the most important part of this second part of the chapter so we have done that and now we are left with just one small tiny part inclination and slope which i am going to cover in uh, the next video and the chapter will be over okay so there is no graphing or uh, much calculation required in the next part inclination and slope but yes you have to take lots of notes so be ready for that we are going to complete that in the next video see you then bye bye